concert tour, Medina Spirit, life is good. What else is lurking in Bob Baffert's barn at Santa Anita? I'm Jay Neff, thoroughbred trainer at Santa Anita. Let's take a look at concert tour, another Bob Baffert contender for the 2021 Kentucky Derby. And a quick reminder before we get into concert tour, you can join our racing stable through the California Thoroughbred Racing Club. Just click the link above, go to our website, get all the details. No vet fees, no training fees, no showing bills. Just $215 gets you a membership. Go to the website, check it out. Concert Tour is a very nice prospect. He's undefeated in two starts for Mr. Baffert. His workouts are really good. They are not the typical bullet works, number one fastest time of the day that you usually see with uh, Bob's horses, but that's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing to see him working really solid times, but uh, not killing himself out there. It's been a while since we've looked at Trackus, and you guys know how I love Trackus. Let's look at Concert Tours San Vicente numbers here. His final furlong went in 33.6 miles per hour, and his peak speed overall for the race was 43.7 with a final time of 124.06. That's a great time. San Anita's track's been a little slow, and uh, 124.06, that's really a nice time. But let's compare that to Baffert's other derby contender, Life is Good. In his last start, the Sham Stakes, about a month ago, eight furlongs, a full mile on the dirt, compared to seven furlongs for Concert Tour. Life is Good went that seventh furlong in 36.4 miles per hour. His peak speed wasn't as great. It was 41.5, but that's not surprising in a mile race. But look at the time for seven furlongs, 123.24. Now, is that the horse or is that the racetrack? Be honest with you, I couldn't tell you. That call could go either way. Life is Good is really a nice horse. Concert Tour has a really interesting pedigree. You hear all about Northern Dancer line. You hear all about the Mr. Prospector line. But you don't hear so much about the Bold Ruler, Nas Rula bloodline. Something I noticed about this horse's pedigree that was, to me, unusual. There are a lot of Nas Rula, Niarco horses in this pedigree. Riverman. He is the son of Never Bend who is by Nasrula, who is by Niarco. Let's go back and move on down the list. Niartic by Niarco. And Reviewer by Bold Ruler, Nasrula, Niarco. And continuing, Seattle Slough. Bold Reasoning, Bold Nisian, Bold Ruler, Nasrula, Niarco. Red God, by Nasrula, who's by Niarco. Foolish Pleasure, what a pleasure, Bold Ruler, Nasrula, Niarco. This is a line that produced Secretariat as well, who was by Bold Ruler. If we look at Weekend Surprise, voila, Secretariat, Bold Ruler, Nasrula, Niarco. So this is a lot of blood from those two stallions, Nasrula and Niarco. They are real powerhouses, but you don't hear much about them anymore. It's all about Northern Dancer and Mr. Prospector. We'll take a look at Mr. Prospector, and there he is on the damn side, Nasrula, Niarco. So this is, a, like, like I said, a real powerhouse family, and we'll see how that uh, affects Concert Tour's career with the upcoming Kentucky Derby. Well, Doug O'Neill's got a nice horse coming up for the Derby, too. I'll do a video on that horse soon when he makes his next start. But in the meantime, Baffert's holding all the high cards here. There may be something on the East Coast. I'll depend on you guys to point that out to me. The uh, winner of the Sam Davis at Tampa Bay Downs this weekend. 
Nice horse, Bill Mott's horse, but Bill Mott also had the second place finisher, Novo Rags, and that horse was coming on like a freight train at the end of the mile and a sixteenth, so I kind of like that horse better than the winner. So let me know in the comments if you've got an East Coast horse you think's a contender, and we'll look into it. In the meantime, check out our website, check out the Racing Club and the Breeding Club. The shares are going pretty quickly. So thanks for watching, and good luck at the races.